Miles, before we go to Semir, you were here at the air show today. Yes. Your impressions as, as CEO of uh, Semir. What a fantastic show of aviation. People turned out in their thousands um, and enjoyed such a wonderful day. The weather's been fantastic, the show's been fantastic, the atmosphere um, is brilliant. I think everybody's really enjoyed themselves and uh, what a wonderful advertisement for aviation to see aircraft, to be able to walk between them, touch them, people can ask questions. This morning we um, had the opportunity to fly 17 um, disadvantaged young people um, who are considering careers um, and again we could showcase what aviation has to offer. Um, it's fantastic to be able to share that with them. So we've really enjoyed ourselves and it looks like everybody else has enjoyed themselves too. Yeah, the show stopped over the bone, yeah. That was just brilliant. Um, the quality of their flying is difficult to, it's difficult to even to find words for. Indeed, indeed. Um, close formation, uh, it was, yeah. Miles, let's talk about Semir. In two weeks' time, you're introducing your regular daily service. Uh, give us some, uh, some information on that one. When we started in uh, November last year, we said it was our intention to get the service up to daily as soon as possible. And we're very pleased to be um, going daily from the 28th. Um, during the holiday season, we in fact have two flights a day, and then going back to a daily schedule uh, for, for normal service thereafter. Okay. Um, for the service to be uh, supported, it needs to be convenient, and for it to be convenient, it needs to be as regular as possible. So if we can go um, to two flights a day ultimately, that would be um, that would be a goal we'd like to achieve. Yes, and in the council the other day somebody mentioned the possibility of you guys uh, flying to Cape Town from here. I mean, is that is that uh, a reality at all? It is something look, we're looking very closely at. Um, we do move uh, very cautiously because um, it, it's a enormous commitment when we start a route. Um, but we've had a lot of inquiries for Margate to Cape Town, and we believe it is a market worth looking at. Um, so we are doing our sums and seeing what support we would get and how we could make it work logistically, but we hope to be able to make an announcement soon um, that we will be initiating that service. Okay, and uh, you, you announced the other day that you'd acquired uh, Bombardier, is that the name of the aircraft? Five of them or how many? Correct, we um, have already have three of those aircraft, but we acquired um, a further package from Delta Airlines in the US. Um, it's a package of, of engines and airframes of which uh, eight of the aircraft will be returned to service and others will be um, used as, uh, to support the, the existing fleet. So it'll get our fleet of CRJs up to 11 aircraft. In no, they're 50-seat. It's a 50-seat commuter jet. Um, it was built for, uh, for regional air aircraft, that's why it's called a CRJ in fact, built by Canada and, and regional jet. Um, it's a fantastic aeroplane for the application um, that we are mostly are, are employed to do. The aircraft um, is, is a short haul to medium haul aircraft, uh, so it's ideal for, for sectors from Johannesburg as far as about Kinshasa or Nairobi. Um, the, the aircraft is currently in service um, in this country with another operator um, and has good passenger appeal and good support. It's a, it's a wonderful aircraft. Yeah, very they, won't, they won't be profitable on a route like this, will they? Um, I think it could be well be. Um, Later on in the future, maybe. Indeed. We are building this route. Again, when we started, we said it's a two-year plan to build this um, market. And we believe from the end of the year, um, a 50-seat aircraft would be appropriate. Unfortunately, the runway limitations at the moment preclude operating the CRJ um, into Margate. But if we can get the runway lengthened by around 300 meters, um, the aircraft will be able to make the uh, regulated safety numbers um, on departure. So we're working with the HCM to see if there's appetite for that investment um, because uh, if you have an, a jet operating between Margate and Johannesburg, it would be a wonderful asset for the community and would drive uh, permanent change, permanent oh, positive change. Would be. Anyway, Miles, thank you very much. And for what it's worth, we down here in Margate regard Semi as our airline.
You should. We're very proud to be um, flying to Margate. It was our first um, domestic schedule of this nature and uh, it's very close to our hearts and we're incredibly proud to see the turnout today, see the, the, the community um, engaging in aviation. Um, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful ride. Thank you very much. Thank you.